What's up, what's up, what's up? Y'all already know what it is. Christopher Aitman here. Real estate extraordinaire. About to make some more cold calls to some fizzbos. You know, I'm hoping to give you confidence. I'm hoping to give you the courage to make these calls. You know, it's not always easy. You always got to push yourself to make it. But after the first call, it's a piece of cake. And you never know when you're going to get that yes. So don't let the no's discourage you. Just know every no is a step closer to a yes. And once you get that yes, all them no's won't even matter. So, you know, tune in. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And here we go. Most time after the fourth ring, I just hang up and just keep on going. You know, you always want to keep on smiling. Hey, um, this is Chris Frayman. How you been? Good. Awesome. Hey, I was calling about the home um, on 6225 Donnybrook. Uh-huh. All right. Um, is it still available? Yes. All right. It's the owner? Yes. All right. Awesome. Hey, once again, my name is Chris. I sent your home on Zillow for 479 to 33, about 1830 square feet. Um, that's current, and then there's also a bonus room over the garage. Awesome. Oh, that's awesome. So it's pretty much four bedrooms, you know, give or take if you want to count the bonus room as a bedroom, right? Yeah, you could because it's got closets. You could easily count the bonus room as a Oh, yeah, that's bedroom. awesome. It's pretty huge. Is it like a, the bonus room is as big as the two bedrooms combined. Oh, wow. So it's kind of like a, a mother-in-law suite almost. Uh, I, no, I would just call it a bonus room. <laughs> okay, okay. It ain't got the kitchenette and stuff in there. All right, that's all. Awesome. No, uh-uh, no. So are y'all currently living in a home, or is it like a vacant home that you're trying yes. to sell? You're living in it? No. Oh. Yes. So what kind of lead time would you need um, if my company was to bring a buyer to you? Hello? Hello? I don't know what happened. Hello, can you hear me? I gotta call her back. I don't know if she heard. I don't know if she hung up on me or, or what happened, but mm, no time to harp on the next one. Y'all keep on making these calls, man. It's gonna pay off. Hello? Hey, this is Chris for Amy. How you been? I'm doing great. I can't complain. Enjoying this sunshine. Definitely. Hey, um, I seen your home on Zillow. I think it was listed for um like 499. It's like a three bedroom, three bathroom on Princeton. I mean on Princeton on East First Street in Princeton. Mm -hmm. All right. right. All right, awesome. Um so I was trying to see is the home currently occupied or is it vacant? Uh it's vacant. It's vacant. All right. So 
um, as far as like a lead time to like, if I was to bring a buyer lead time on showing, um, how much time would you need to prep for a showing? Um, well, normally, um, maybe, maybe 24 hours. Uh, okay. I, I can't show it now until this weekend. I right. got some time this weekend, but, um, um, you know, anytime this weekend, but after that, if you can give me a 24 hour notice, I could, I can meet you there. All right, I see you just listed it. Do you have any um any offers or anything? Um, we haven't got any offers, but we've shown it to a couple people. We've had a bunch of phone calls. Oh yeah, I already know about the phone calls. I, I ain't trying to be one of the annoying people calling you. <laughs> Not at all. Um, when it be yeah. when, when I, I know you said you can't show it to this weekend. So um, when this weekend can we meet? Um, so I can see the home and speak with you. Um, I would say Saturday would work during the daytime, like, um, cause we'll be over there anyway, most of the day Saturday. So would 11 a.m. Uh, work on Saturday or 12 be better? Uh, either one, 11 or 12. 11 or 12. All right. And, and what's your name? Jay. Jay, gotcha. And once again, my name is Christopher Aitman. And 108. So okay, so I'm gonna put you on my my calendar for um, Saturday the six at twelve, um, and I will just give you a call in the morning on Saturday just to follow up to make sure you know you'll still be there, and then I will head out there. Okay, sounds good. All right, Jay, you have a good one. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, got one. So. What I do, I use this system called Brevity, and um, it's actually, it's one of them things, if you don't use it, you ain't going to know the value of it, but, so I put all my appointments in here, I got a listing appointment with Jay, um, boom, one of eight Princeton, dun, 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 so what I like to do is, get my notepad because like sometimes you'll make these calls you'll make these calls and you'll forget to do the market research and it'll come up on the day you got to do it so i know saturday i got to do this appointment and i'm put the address so and i'm put market report market report saturday 108 east first Street and that's in Princeton, Princeton, North Carolina. And he seemed like an easygoing guy, so you know, you never know. And I mean, I kind of presumably, presumably, told him that I'm an agent by saying like, you know, if we was to bring a buyer, what lead time? So in that mind, you know, he already knows I'm an agent in a sense. So when I asked him. When can we meet so I can see the home and speak with you? That's all I'm asking. I want to see the home and I want to speak with you. And then that they kind of leer, they be like, for what? And then that's when you go into your, your follow-up. 27569. All right. And then I set this in my calendar. And then one thing about Brivy, when you set an appointment in Brivy, it links to your Google calendar, so it goes right on your phone. 108 East Princeton Street. I want to get notified about two hours beforehand. Boom, boom, boom. List of consultation. Boom. And then I'm gonna save it. And then when you got it, like a CRM, like when I do my Fizzbos, I kind of just put the address as the name until I get the name. I mean, I could research their name and look it up, but uh, it takes a lot of time. So his name is Jay. So I'm gonna save it. Jay. Um, notes, spoke with him, appointment on Saturday at noon. Okay. So I got Jay already done. And now on to the next.
Hey, I can't believe it's already August. It's crazy. All right, let me see. Boom. Next call. Let's get it. Hey, this is Christopher Aitman. How you been? Hey, this is Christopher Aitman. How you been? Um, good. How are you? I'm doing great. Hey, is this a good time? Um, yeah, sure. All right. Awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure you already been getting calls about the property on 120 Marsh Creek Drive in Garden. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, I know. I seen you just listed. I already know how it can be when you selling your house on your own and you get them phone calls from a billion different people. I'm sorry to be one of them people. <laughs> right. Um, I see it's um you listing it for four ten. It's a three bed, two bathroom. No, a four bed, three bathroom, two thousand and seventy two square feet. Yeah. All right. Are, are you guys currently living in a home, or is it just a vacant property you want to sell? I'm currently living in. Currently living in. So, how much of a lead time would you need before you can show a buyer? Um. Potentially, we have a few people wanting to come this weekend. Um, this weekend? So we're considering oh. a Saturday. Okay, Saturday, open house. And it's crazy. I will be in the area on Saturday. Um, I do have an open house. It will be, um, we have a, we will have a key left, um, and you can go in and show. But only we're only doing that if you have a potential buyer. Right. I wanted to actually see the home and speak with you guys. No, we won't be there. You won't be there? When would be a good time for that to um, happen? I know I don't know how your schedule is. It sounds like you're pretty busy. So I was trying to see when can we schedule a time, maybe next week or something. And wh why do you want to speak with us? I'm sorry. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real estate agent, and I was calling for sale by owners, just saying, just wanted to just give you my proposal, just for you to take it in consideration, no pressure, no commitment, just for you to know in case that time comes. I want you to sell it on your own, but, you know, just in case you need any help along the way. I just want to give you my proposal personally. Thank you, though. We have we we received several offers already, um, and this will be like I said. Oh, you said you already got offers on the property? property? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That is awesome. Well, you know, um, so, what's your name? Uh, Mercedes. Yeah, Mercedes. If you need any help, um, along the way, um, just give me a call. I I'll be happy to help you with anything. All right. All right. Sounds great. Thank all right. You. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. All right, so I talked to her. She said she already got offers. You know, I, I'm not no, I mean, maybe I need to get more pushy with my people, but she already has offers on home. Don't feel like she needs an agent. So, I, you know, I'll follow back up with her or whatever, but, um, you know, if they say they got offers and they feel like you don't, you know, you don't want to be like, no, you do need me or nothing like that. I, I mean, you can do what you want to do. I just learned like, you know, people like people, you know, so it's kind of like with this phone thing, you want to build rapport and you don't want to come off asking for the sale. You kind of want to set the sale up. You kind of want to like create the environment for the sale to take place. If you understand what I'm saying. So like everybody is not going to be a yes. And I think that's the beauty of it because that helps you adapt. And the more you do this, the more you're going to be able to read people, read situations, read circumstances and, you know, conquer this. So I'm going to save and continue. Hello. Hello. Hey, this is Christopher Aitman. How, how you been? I'm great. Awesome. Great to hear that. Hey, I'm pretty sure you've been getting a lot of calls. Um, you got your house for sale on Zillow, 159 George Wilton Drive, correct? That's that's correct. And it's coming up as a three-bedroom, two-bath, 1464 square foot, and you're trying to get at least 354 for it, 354.9? Uh-huh. All that's right. we got listed for. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know, right? If you can get more, hey, let's do it. Um, so are you currently living in this home or is this like a vacant home you're trying to get rid of? No, this house is empty. It's ready to be moved. Oh, in. wow. That's awesome. So you, you've done any updates or anything to the home? Any notable updates? Well, it's got 
got a new roof. The roof is about four years old, and uh, uh, that's the last, last update we did. All right, new roof. You said four years old. What kind of? It got the architectural shingles or the regular shingles? Architectural. Ooh, yeah, you a smart man. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That them things last about fifteen, almost twenty years. So that's a, definitely a great choice. All right. So, what type of lead time would you need um, before you can show a buyer the home? Um, I could do it later this afternoon. Say okay. after two. So at least like a two, two to four hour lead time um, before showing the buyer, right? Perf yeah. Um, now, um, I've got a lock box I'll be putting on it today. Mm -hmm. So after after today, you know, it could be on the spot shown. Yeah, you know, as far as I can give you the lock box number and you go in and look at it or whatever. Okay. But, How, how's your schedule uh, looking on um, on Friday? Uh, Friday, uh, uh, let me think, uh, Friday, I could do it Friday morning, Friday morning with, with no problem. Okay. Friday morning. Yeah. I'm pretty, I'm open on Friday morning. Um, I want to schedule a time to meet with you. Um, so I can see the home and speak with you. So with Friday around maybe. Now look, look, look. Are yes, you sir. an agent trying to get me listed with you? I'm not trying to get you to list it with me. I am an agent, though, but it's not my only goal to try to get you. I already know if people are selling it by themselves, they're selling it by themselves because they don't want to list with an agent. So I'm not the type of person to try to pressure you into listing with me. All I want to do is just submit my proposal, um, give you some information that might help you. And in the meantime, I can, I can look at your house and I can shop it around to other brokers or other buyers that I might have that may be interested in your home. And if you decide you want to listen with me um, from our conversation, that's another story, but I'm not here to pressure you, sir. All right, I'm not going to listen with you. I can tell you that up front. And I, I don't will. I mean, if you've got somebody you want to bring by to show it, that's fine. Right. But if not, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to sit and listen to a proposal. Is it, is it a reason? Like is not, it a reason why you don't want to list it with an agent? Uh, I, I, at this time, we do not. That's you just, just at this time, you just want to like know. see if you can get it, you know, get the most by selling it yourself, right? That's right. Hey, and you know, it, it's nothing so, wrong. It's nothing. It's nothing wrong with. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not here to pressure you. Um, well, would it be okay if I just email you on my proposal? Then you know, just for consideration purposes. Fine. Okay. What's the best email, sir? It's Cur Cur Curtis A Morris at yahoo.com. And that's Curtis with a C, right? Yes. And A as an Apple and Morris, M-O-R-R-I-S at, at Yahoo? At Yahoo.com. Okay. And I'm assuming your name is Curtis, right? That's correct. All right, Curtis. Hey, man, thank you for your time. I already know you're probably going to get a thousand more calls after me, um, but I, I do believe that this home can sell. I, I think it's a beautiful home from what I've seen, and the price seems like it's the right price point. So I'm going to just send you my information, a, little, a, a buyer, a seller's guide, and um, I'm just want, I'm gonna wish you luck along the way, all right. And if I get any bites, um, right. I will be sure to call you, Curtis. All right, thank you very much. Thank bye you. Bye. Yeah, bye bye. Have a good one. Thank you. Now you see, like it comes up, you an agent? Yeah, I'm not trying to list you. I mean, obviously, I am, but at the end of the day, you know, you know, no pressure. That's another thing we got to do. I got to send him an email packet. And it's always good to keep a pen and pad because you never know. Let me see. So now I got his email though. So that is always a good thing. Another form of contact. Email is Curtis. A Morris at yeah. Curtis A Morris at yahoo.com. I'm going to save it. And I, I feel like 
you, I don't want to meet with nobody who don't want to meet with me at that time. You know, I don't want to pressure. And I, I know it's a lot of agents that do do that. And maybe I need to get better. So, you know, put in the comments if y'all feel like I need to get better at pressuring in it and overcoming objections. Um, I mean, like I said, this is a each one teach one channel. I don't have all the answers. I'm not going to say my way is the right way and it's the only way. I've listened to thousands of coaches do this. So it's it's kind of like, you know, whatever works for them works for them. Sometimes what works for them won't work for you. You got to find what fits your personality type. Some people have bubbly personalities. Some people have monotone, plain personalities. But you got to do what fits right with you that works right with you. You don't want to sound scripted. You don't want to sound um, unnatural. You know, you want to make it sound as natural and as fluent, as conversational as possible. And the main thing you want to know, let them know, like, hey, that's a good person. This person is hungry. I'm calling you because I'm a go-getter. I'm a go-getter my money. I'm not going to wait for my money to come get me. And if you want a go-getter to work for you, then this type of people you want anyway. So, yeah. So I got to send him a home seller's guy. Oh, yeah. I got to change his name, too. That's Curtis. Uh, Curtis. Seven calls in. In this call. All right, next call. Hey, this is Christopher Amen. How you been? I'm doing pretty good, boss man. Give me one second. I'm sitting with the clock. Okay, no problem. Take your time. Alrighty. How's it going? It's going good. Hey, um, I was giving you a quick call about um six thousand and seven Meadow Lane. You got it for sale? Um, yeah, yeah, sir. I, I do apologize for that. I, I don't know how my number had got on to ask for that, but I, I don't own it. Property. They probably, <laughs> you know what's funny about it? They probably put a typo in there, and that's horrible. You, oh man, that is horrible. Yeah, I've been getting a million calls about it. At this point, I wish I owned it. I know. You trying to sell anything or buy anything? <laughs> uh, I can't right now, man. At this point, I wish I had that property in gold, bro. Uh, look, right? Oh man, I am so sorry you got to get these calls, man. I'm going to try to find the owner's real number, and I'm going to try to call them and let them know that they got the wrong number on there because that's crazy. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate you. You have a good one. You too. All right. Wrong number. Find correct number. So put that in my to-do list. Uh, find right number for 6,007. Meadow Lane. I'm going to trash that number. Hold on. They ain't going to let me trash it. Let me go to edit real quick. They ain't going to let me trash this number. Hmm. Save. I don't know. I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna just edit the number and put and put a whole bunch of numbers after it and save it just for it don't call that guy no more. All right, next one.
Hey, this is Chris Aitman. How you been? Good. How you doing? I'm doing great. I can't complain. I woke up today, so ain't too much to complain about, right? <laughs> Uh, hey, I was giving you a quick call about yes, 97 Hunter View Lane and Colts. Yes, sir. All right, I see you got it for sale. Um, it's for 287, three bedroom, two bath, about 16, 20 square feet. Yes, and um, which there's 720 upstairs that's not listed. So it's actually um, 1620s on the bottom, mm -hmm. 720s up top. Oh, um, right. The top is unfinished. It's it's got the the it's wired and it's got the plumbing sticking out, but it's um but it's we just never never went in there and dry water because we didn't need it. Right, but if somebody wanted to do it, they can easily do it. And you said that's seven hundred and fifty extra square feet. Yes, that's wow. correct. That's that's awesome. That, that that's definitely a great great selling point. Um, how long you been trying to sell this property? Um, we just listed it, um, matter of a few days ago. Okay, cool, cool. So, and, and I, they, they didn't put the pictures up until a couple of days after that. All right. So, think, um, are you, are you currently living in this property or is this like a vacant home you're trying to get rid of? Uh, no, we're living, uh, we're living in it now. Okay. And, um, we're, we're packing our stuff up, getting ready to move. Oh, right, where y'all moving to? Um, we're just moving one town over. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're, um, we're opening up a cafe, and we want to be um, located in that town. Okay, awesome. So you already got a property already over there ready for you? Um, we haven't found one yet, but we have family that's there. Um, so we're going to just move in there for and just till we can find a house, and then we'll move right back out. Okay, yeah. Um, And what, what city was that? Done. Oh, and done. So, yeah, literally one town yeah. over. Okay, awesome. That's it, literally one town over. We're, um, we want to move, like, right in the middle of done, downtown. Okay, and do you have to sell this house in order to move, or you don't have to sell it to move? Um, um, I don't, I don't have to, but I, I prefer to. Right, exactly, get that capital on hand. Okay, awesome. Um, as far as um, bringing a buyer, how much lead time, because I know you're still living in the home, how much lead time would you need in order to set an appointment to um, show a buyer the home? Um, just, um, um, most of the time, just a day. If, um, if I'm, I'm not already showing somebody the home, um, I, I can do it that, that day or the next day. Okay, so I, I be I so like you know twenty four hour notice contingent on what how yeah, how you okay, all right. So um, when can when is a good time so we can meet so I can see the home and speak with you? Um, let's see. How would Monday work for you? Man, that's perfect. Actually, that's perfect. I have nothing scheduled okay. for Monday. Um, morning, afternoon. Um, how does two p.m. work? Two p.m. works great. 2 p.m. actually works perfect. All right, Monday at 2. I'm about to put that in my calendar. Monday is the 8th at 2 p.m. And what's your name? My name is Todd. Todd, all right. And 97 Hunter View Lane. I'll just put it in my calendar right now. And so, all right, Todd. Um. I will give you a call um, on Monday morning just to confirm and make sure everything's still good. And if everything's still good, I'll be on my way Monday and I'll see you at 2 o'clock, all right? That sounds good. All right, Ty, you have a great one. You too, buddy. Take care. All right, bye-bye. So that's another thing I gotta put on my to-do list, Monday, 2 p.m. So I need the, <clears throat> um, 97, 97 Hunter View Lane Coats. And see, and he needs to move, so that could be a double right there. I can help him sell his house and help him move. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have a good little list and presentation for this man. They want to move to Dunn. Dunn is right down the street. 
So I'll say this into my calendar. Uh, Monday, August 8, 2 p.m. Make sure everything right. Boom. Um, um, and save. All right. And I'm gonna put in the notes needs to buy a home and done and hey, what I noticed that works is when you call me be like hey how you been they love that I'm telling you I don't know why but it just works I don't know it, it, it gives me a better like when somebody asks you how you been that means they care about you so I kinda, I'm kind of opening it up with that hey I care about you how you been so I think you know And his name is Todd. So I gotta make sure I put his name in there. Save and close. Okay. Boom. All right, next call. Been forwarded to an automatic, automatic voice message, message system. system. Seven two zero four eight one. All right. Let me see who's next. Who's my next victim? Let's get it. Hey, this is Christopher Aitman. How you been? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I was giving you a quick call about the property at 2020 Fox Run Road in Burlington. Yes. All right. Awesome. It's the, if I got it correct, um, three bedroom, two bathroom, 1525 square feet. Hello? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I thought I lost you. All right, um, quick question. Are you guys currently living in the home or is this like a vacant home you're trying to get rid of? Uh, no, we don't live in it. We've moved. Oh, y'all moved already? All right. Um, so, um, how much of a lead time do you need before, um, you can show a buyer? Like, how much of a notice would you need? Um, Days, I think. Couple days. Okay, and you the owner? Uh, no, but I know the owners. You know the owners. All right. So, um, you selling it for them, or they just they're not available to speak right now? They're just not available to speak right now. When would be a good time for me to meet with them and see the see the home? I don't know how their schedule is looking or if they are even in the area. Um, weekends and past five o'clock are better. Weekends and past five o'clock. Okay, weekends and past five p.m. I, okay, so if we can do weekends, I can definitely make it over there um, Saturday after five. If that works for them, I don't know um, how how we'll be able to verify that. Right. But like, I can definitely like talk to them and give you like a call back or something. All right. Would it be possible you can send them my number? Yeah. Hold on. Uh, let me. Are you calling from your number? Yeah. This is my this is my office phone. I can give you, you can put this number down. And I can give you my personal number too, just in case um, I'm not at the office. Okay. Yeah. Can you hold on one second? So yeah. I can write that down. Yeah. No problem. Okay. All 
All right, it's area code 910. Okay. 600. 3320. Sorry, can you, sorry, can you say that again? Yeah, um, 910-600-3320. 910-600-3320. Yes, ma'am. And my name is Christopher Aitman. It's Chris with a K. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You have a blessed one. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. Sound like they're with their daughter or something. Talk to him. Save and continue. Let's get it. Hello, it's Hey, this is Chris Freeman. How you been? I'm good. Awesome. Hey, um, this a good time? Uh, sorta. What's so up? I'll make it quick, no problem. Hey, I was calling about the property you had for sale on 9020 Pharrell Road in Zebulon. Yes. And it's the three bed, two bath, 2,168 square feet. Correct. You got any um any um additional square feet that's not um not counted on a description or no? No. All right, no, no bonus room or I nothing. Don't. Okay, no problem. Um, is are you guys still living in the home or is it like a vacant one you're trying yep. to get rid of? No. Nope. Still living in it. All right. living in it. So, what type of lead time would you need? Um, if I was to bring a buyer, what type of lead time you'll need before you can show the home? Uh, about twenty-four hours. Perfect. All right. No Long problem. enough for me to get my shit out. <laughs> yeah, I completely understand. All right. When I don't know how your schedule's looking. Um, this weekend or next week. Um, when to be a good time? Um, so we can meet. I can see the home and speak with you. Um, it's gonna probably have to be. Next week, I'm out of town working today. It okay. Probably will be tomorrow as well. But all right, next week. Um, would Tuesday okay. work for you next week, or would you rather push it out to the weekend? I can't do the weekend. You can't do the weekend. All right, what about Tuesday? This coming Tuesday. Um, yeah, next week Tuesday. Do. Hang on a minute. No, take your time. Hey. Hey, I'm sorry, I had to put I had to put you on speaker. All right, no problem. Um, Tuesday, August 9th. I may be around. You just have to, you just have to call me to see. Okay, okay, we can work every day. Oh, okay. So would maybe like the evenings work better? Yeah, it's gonna have to be. If you want to, yeah, it's gonna okay. have to be an evening. Okay, so I tentatively put it in a calendar for Tuesday at six o'clock p.m. and I give you a call Tuesday morning just to verify, and we can go from there. That'll be fine. And you said your name fine. was Skip. Yep. All right. All right, Skip. And again, my name is Christopher Aitman, and I just give you a follow-up call on Tuesday morning to confirm, okay? Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Right, Bye-bye. All right. See, got another one. Let me see. Location. Copy. Going paste. His name is Skip. Put listen appointment. Put his name Skip. Add this to my Google Calendar. That's what three appointments set. I mean that's a tentative one, but hey, still, still an appointment. You know what I mean? Save that. 
change your name from an address to skip. All right, save. Okay, so make sure, like, like I said, you gotta always make sure you write down the addresses so you remember to do that CMA, you know, send them the marketing packet for real road. Zebulon NC27597. Um, I got this one at 6 p.m. Tuesday. All right, another one down. Let's go. Woo! You know, I gotta, gotta, gotta get them woos in. Let's get it. Please leave your message for nine one nine five seven. Hey, this is Chris Raymond. How you been? Good, good. What's up? Hey, I was um giving you a quick call about 143 Clancy Circle. Yes, I'm gonna help you. All right, awesome. Um, I seen you had it for sale. It's the three bedroom, I mean, three bedroom, three bath, about sixteen thirty two square feet. Yes. Awesome, awesome. You have any additional square feet that's not included? Okay, um, I'm not trying to be weird. I was just trying to gather some information. Well, uh, we're trying to see, um, right now, is the home currently occupied or vacant? Like, are you living in a home currently? Like, I'm asking because I'm trying to see a lead time um, before, you know, we could bring and buy how much lead time you'll need. Hello? That was rude. I'll call back, you know, if you get them people. Like, he hung up on me. Some of my questions is weird. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put skeptical. Skeptical seller. Call back. He even knows, man. You know. to the next
Craig. Just leave a message and I'll call you back. Bye. At the oh, at least I got a name, right? Greg. Sometimes the voicemails be good. You get some names sometimes, man. Hey, save me a little bit of work. All right. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Who's this? Hey, this is Chris for Aitman. Um, I'm a local realtor. Um, I, I seen your ad on Zillow. I see that you're an out-of-state realtor selling your home. Yeah. Yeah, I was um I was trying to see if it's possible we can um negotiate something and we can work together. I know that I mean you being a realtor, you know about the marketing piece that we can offer locally. So I was trying to see if we can come to terms, if we can meet, I can see the house. And just give you my proposal and see if we can come to terms to see if, you know, I can list your home and you can save some money in the process. I appreciate it, but if I'm going to fully list it, I, I already have somebody in mind. I'm just kind of toying with it at the moment <laughs> and, um, and we'll be working on re-renting it. Okay, so you say you already got somebody who you, yeah. you trust to list it already? Um, yeah, yeah. Even if I can bring a better offer to the table? Well, not, you know I mean? A better offer as far as, you know, saving you money? First of all, I can't even let you in. The tenant won't let anybody oh. in right now. So, all right. So I'm just kind of toying with it. <laughs> and if you have an interested party, I could try to, you know, force him to let it be seen. But that's about it. I mean, it can definitely be sold with a tenant in it. It's just got to, you know, got to circulate it to, you know, buy and hold investors. I mean, primarily. <laughs> But how much is the rent right now? Well, I'd rather not disclose that because I'm going to increase it. When Wait, I okay, when it. you increase it, how much would it be? I can advertise that and see if I can get some bites for you. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Oh, that's that's pretty. Twelve hundred. Yeah. That is amazing. It's, it's not. Well, it's not as you know. <laughs> The kitchen is not redone, and the bathroom is only half done. So, and that's the way it's going to be rented. Oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not doing any rehab. Right. Okay. I have. I mean, I have. I said that's so, a great deal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's in yeah, a great area and they too. Have to be able to take care of the yard. Okay. So if, if we not, I have to maybe charge another hundred. Exactly. I didn't know to keep the lawn. So if we was to get a buyer, it's selling as is. With the tenant in it, so pretty much a turnkey property. I'm sorry, what? I said so. So if I find a um, buyer, um, pretty much you're selling it as is as a turnkey property at the moment. Yes. Okay. Perfect. All right. Um. What? What? I, what's your name? I'm sorry, I didn't get your well, name. Well, it's not really turnkey because it's not rehab. That term is only used when it's rehab. No, I was saying but turnkey as far as like as is. No, as no. Is. I was saying I turnkey. There. Yeah, I was saying turnkey as a part as, as far as you know having the tenants in there already, so they're gonna come in and get money as soon as they buy the property because the tenants paying rent. That's that's what I meant by it. Yeah, I mean they're moving out mid August, and okay. hopefully I have somebody in there right behind them. Okay, so, mid August. Yeah, I don't see it being a problem because I had a ton of people. Responding. Blowing yeah. your phone up, huh? <laughs> it's not going to be a problem to rent it, that's for sure. All right, yeah. Hey, no problem. What's your name, Al? Christine. Christine. And again, my name is Christopher. And um, what I do, um, I see you got everything figured out already. So all I can do for you is I can just shop it to my investor list and see if I get some bites, Christine. And if I do, I'll give you a call and um, we see if we can work out something, okay? Okay. All right, All Christine. Right. Have a good one. All right. Bye. 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 Okay. Has. And that's what I like about Bridge. You just put your notes right in there, man. It's organized. Has. Tenant. And property. Till mid August. 
till mid August. Um, selling as is. Rent is twelve hundred. Um, kitchen and bathroom needs update. All right. And before I say with Tim, I add her name, Christine. All right, Christine. Thank you for your time. And save and continue. Let's go. Hello? Okay, and that car, that was weird, it didn't even ring. <clears throat> Hello, this is Matt. Hey Matt, it's Chris Aitman, how you been? Good. Awesome, hey, um, I was calling about the new construction you had for 449 at 2531 Fawcett Avenue. Yes. All right. Are you um are you a builder? Yes. Yeah, you saw that on um, on uh, Zillow, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So you. Uh, yes. I'm not the builder, but I uh, work alongside the builder. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right, so um, is it already completed or is it still in the process of being built? We are um, very close to completion. Okay, oh, man, it looks like it's about to be an amazing home. It's in a great area. Um, it definitely looks good. Um, I was curious, what's um, causing you guys to sell it by owner instead of um, listing it with an agent? Are you an agent? Yes, sir, I am. Yeah. Uh, we, we have an agent that we work with. Um, if we were if and when we listed. So you already got a um an agent. Are you what about um what about commission? The commission piece. If I can compete with the agent on the commission piece, would you consider that or no? No, we already have a, a, a good, good relationship and a discounted commission. Hey, I honor that, man. I think that's, I think that's, that's nice. So, hey, you know, hey, um, I wish y'all the best of luck. I hope y'all can sell it by yourselves, but um, I will keep my eye on it because it's definitely a hot property right now. Um, being that it's new construction in that Pacific area, so I will keep my, my eye out um for any buyers and give you a call. Um, what's your name? Max. Max or Matt? Matt. M A T T. M A T T. I got you, Matt. All right, Matt, I'm going to put that in my notes that you already do have an agent, not li interested in listening, and just looking for a buyer. And you guys are willing to pay or open to pay buyer commission if I do bring a, a buyer that br brings a good offer? We, 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 list, we, we often list homes uh, on the MLS, so we're not opposed to it. Obviously, always want to make a shot to see if you can get a buyer yourself. But. Exactly. Okay, well, well, Matt, if I get any bites on it, I'm gonna give you a call. I'm gonna give you a call and let you know, okay? Yeah, good. <laughs> all right, all right. You have a blessing, sir. You too, buddy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, has an agent to work with already. Save it. You hold on, did I change the name already? Y'all got it, Matt. Okay, save and continue.
This is Christine Flowers. Thank you so much for your call. You've reached my voicemail. Please leave a message. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may... All right. I got a name, though. I think I talked to this lady before, if I'm not mistaken, but if I did, I did. Let me put Chris Stein Flowers. I got to check my phone real quick and see... Let me check my phone real quick and see if I got her. Oh no, I don't. Nope, I don't. I don't, I don't. Okay, I was wrong. No answer, save and continue. See what the last call do. Last call, y'all. Nine one nine nope. five nine three one four seven two. I want to thank y'all for watching, man. I hope y'all took notes. I hope y'all learn something from this and you know make sure y'all like comment and subscribe share the video man let's build this up let me build my subscribers up and as y'all keep on watching i'm gonna keep on making videos for y'all so y'all can be the best agents y'all can be um like i said this, this road is not going to be easy i don't know it all you know i'm not a coach i'm not anything of that sort but i am grinding i am hustling and i'm gonna make it happen as long as you stick with me and you keep on doing what I'm doing, making these calls, making these lists. I'm going to keep on training. I'm going to keep on teaching y'all what I know. And we're going to be successful together. So like, comment, and subscribe. And see y'all next time.